Getting a good night's sleep is essential to our well-being. Sleeping not only makes us feel good, it also makes us feel more alert, more energetic, and happier. Moreover, sleep enriches our ability to learn, memorize, and make logical decisions. It recalibrates our emotions, restocks our immune system, and regulates our metabolism and appetite. Neuroscientists have been researching for decades why sleep is such an important part of our life. But what happens to our bodies when we don't sleep for a week? Perhaps many of us have had to pull an all-nighter at some point in our life, especially back in our student days when we had a project deadline. But all-nighters are very dangerous and hazardous to our health. These hazards are made worse when we go several days without sleep. That is because sleep deprivation can cause many undesirable symptoms such as dizziness, confusion, and headaches. But in some extreme cases, it can lead to death. Back in 2012, a Chinese man died from sleep deprivation after staying up for 11 days straight to watch a soccer tournament. This incident took the term diehard fan to another level. Death from sleep deprivation can occur from a weakened immune system. There hasn't been enough data so far to understand why sleep deprivation is deadly, but an experiment on lab rats showed that the rats died after two weeks of sleep deprivation. Furthermore, through different scientific experiments and recorded data, researchers monitored people who stayed awake for more than a day. These people were reported to have severe problems with concentration and perception, which worsened the longer they stayed awake. According to these data, in just the first 24 hours, the researchers observed rising levels of stress hormones, which in turn raised the blood pressure levels. The symptoms that were also reported included disorientation and daytime sleepiness. Sleepiness in general is caused by a decrease in glycogen deposits in the liver and the muscle tissues. Sleeping helps restore those glycogen deposits. In the next 36 hours, the researchers detected a significant drop in intellectual performance. The participants were unable to properly follow instructions, and even the simplest tasks took a long time to complete. In the following 48 hours, the immune system ceases to work. The body's internal temperature begins to drop, and the body starts to lose the ability to metabolize glucose. Memory impairment also starts to take place. That is because sleep itself has a role in the consolidation of memory, which is essential for learning new information. When we sleep, short-term memories become long-term ones. Lack of sleep causes them to remain short-term memories. Furthermore, staying up for two or more days may cause hallucinations, paranoia, and an increase in cardiovascular risks. Not getting enough sleep in general can have serious long-term health risks. These risks can range from diabetes, heart diseases, depression, and obesity. It is believed that people who work in healthcare, transportation, and other jobs that involve irregular schedules and night shifts are more at risk of developing chronic sleep deprivation. In the US alone, it is believed that over 100,000 car accidents are attributed to sleep-deprived drivers, with over 1,500 deaths and 70,000 injuries. The longest recorded time a human being has gone without sleep was 11 days and 25 minutes. Have you ever pulled an all-nighter? How did that make you feel? Share your thoughts in the comment section.